So we're done with phase one, 1850 to 1870. What did we learn? Well, I think the biggest surprise to me is that two trains with single engines and shorter amounts of wagons is the best choice. Um, this last series of tests, the, the twin trains with seven wagons showed to be the optimal set out, barely beating out the um, twin trains with single engines and eight cargo wagons. Now, of course, that it only works if you have enough demand to uh, distribute your product. A lot of times when you start, you won't have enough demand to do that. And in that case, then you go with the single train and seven cars is, is the best. But if you have the demand to uh, enable you to run twin trains, definitely worth the expense to lay down double track and put two trains out on at once. And the key to that is you build your first train, send it out, let it go to the resource, um, which, whether you're using an oil well or, or a farm, and when it almost gets to the other end, right before it hits the refinery or the food processing plant, put your second train out on the line and get it into the resource center so they're running exactly opposite ends of the loop, and the second train is already going to have product waiting for it, which really boosts the whole... Um, it reduces the amount of time that you need to get both trains up to full cargo and that makes it the economic choice. You make the most money in the shortest period of time doing that. Now if um, especially if you're going to use the income from your first track to finance building a second track with a third or fourth train then you want to go with seven wagons if you're going to upgrade to the 440 as soon as it comes out and you have the demand consider running eight wagons because it's almost as profitable and when you put on that 440 American it's going to become more profitable because it can handle the uh, the extra cargo wagon so if you're on terrain with an incline you have to run shorter wagons less wagons in order to be profitable once again the uh, the twin setups whether you run a, a single train and double engines or twin trains with um, single engines is preferable to just run in a single train on the shorter routes where you don't have time for the double trains economic power to really take effect then not so much the case but you shouldn't be building an extremely short route anyway because it economically it just doesn't make sense you want to build a 9 to 20 minute track and on those lengths running double engines is definitely the way to go. So overall winner for your startup train. I know I've never done this, never even thought about doing it, but I'm going to do it from now on. Remember we're talking about hard mode. Twin trains, single engines, seven cargo wagons lets you produce the most money in the shortest period of time and if you're trying to go for a billion dollars you have some other goals that require a lot of money for you to uh, to meet in a game definitely the way you want to start out it gives you the most money as quickly as possible and that really primes the whole system for you being able to meet your goals later in the game the more money you get into the game early on the greater amount of money you're able to generate later on in the game. So, there you go. Twin trains, single engines, seven wagons is the best initial, and I stress that, initial starter setup. Double track and put two trains on it. Now, phase two we're going to look at later on in the game where we have diesels and we're running 14, 15 car trains and we're going to look at what's better then because the debate later on is double engine trains with 15 cars are superior to twin engine trains and in this case we're going to do 14 wagons so that I can split them in two and have and have twin trains with them um, with 17 wagons apiece so that we have the same amount of cargo being moved and the debate is that if you split all your trains up into two shorter ones with single engines 
you're going to have so many trains on the track that they interfere with each other and they have to slow down at signals or stop at signals and that's going to make the double engine longer train more profitable in the long run so I'm going to set up a uh, game where I can test that and we'll test it with no other trains on the track and I think we'll find that when you have an already established track with cargo already on and waiting for your trains that a double engine with 14 cars is going to be exactly the same as two trains with um with seven cars but then we'll do it again and add add trains onto the track and look at how many does it take before this the twin trains become a problem or maybe we'll find out like this they never become a problem and they're actually better I really don't know because I I could have sworn I knew what the winner was going to be on this phase one and I was wrong so maybe I'll be wrong on phase two as well that's why we're running the test we're going to take a look at it and, and see what the data actually shows so I'm going to build a track and advance the game far enough to run the second test and when I get it all set up it may take a week I don't know because I got a lot of stuff going on this week with my family um, I'll come back and show you phase two.